Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and this is a quick video to explain to you a little feature uh, that can sometimes be useful when uh, you have apps, programs and um, maybe all sorts of uh, error messages and crashes. Um, there's a um, little feature in Windows. Um, it's been there for a while. Um, as far as I know, it's been there in almost every version of Windows. Uh, the farthest back I remember that it existed was not Windows 98. And it's called the Event Viewer. The Event Viewer is basically a file on your computer that is written about all that is going wrong, every error message your computer ever made, uh, with date and timestamp. And it's an interesting little feature because um, for a tech guy, that file can help you um, maybe pin down what causes a problem or error messages in your computer itself. How do you go to the event viewer? Basically, you just go to the uh, bottom left corner of the screen and right click. And there you'll go into a... Uh, little feature called Event Viewer. It's directly there in the list. The Event Viewer is divided into a few categories. Um, so you've got local, which is really what's happening in your computer. In the bottom of this window, you already have a um, list of log summaries of all the different uh, programs and uh, all the different applications that actually can write information and you'll have at the top information about critical um, critical errors and problems that actually happened in your computer so for example here it says uh, 20 critical in the last seven days 71 errors in uh, the last seven days um, 101, 101 warnings and um, lots of information as you can see. Now keep in mind one thing, you'll always have errors in Windows and it doesn't mean that it's real bad errors. Um, basically some of the errors are simply for example one thing that can happen is uh, suppose your uh, clock did not synchronize with the time over the internet. Well. That, that will count as an error, but it's not really an error technically. It can happen if you aren't on the web, for example. So you can check this list here and see what errors and what actually happened. You've got all the information here. It tells you um, basically what type of error and um, you can view the log and view the analytics. And it's particularly useful if you um, actually have error messages and uh, want to know basically when it happened. So you can go into the Windows logs on the left side and click applications for example and see when did it have problems. For example here it says today at 3.06 which is four minutes ago there's an error here and this error is disabled performance counter data collection from the Outlook service because the performance calendar library for that service has generated one or more errors. Now, the helpful tool that you can have sometimes is more information. You can click event log online help and see if um, some information is available about that problem here. Now it says here page not fault because it's basically probably not an error. So you got to be really careful about what it's written because not everything that says error is an error or a problem. So you got to be careful and know how to interpret everything that's here. Uh, but if your computer stopped at a certain date and time, it's a good idea to go to the event viewer and check on that date and that time. Is an application crashed? Did What's the problem with security or the setup? or the system itself, what crash and what is the errors and make sure that if you had a crash, is there a log and what does it say? 
sometimes it's gonna pinpoint to um, a piece of software or maybe a piece of hardware that actually crashed and so you can pin down what happened uh, in the event viewer I would say the event viewer gives you practical and useful information maybe 50% of the time when there's a crash because 50% of the time it doesn't pinpoint necessarily the good thing the problem in computers is that an example if RAM memory is defective it's gonna it's not gonna tell you RAM is defective well, it, it, it's gonna tell you what crashed because of RAM defect defects but it doesn't tell you that it's RAM it just tells you well this application crashed and made a, a blue screen of dead for example but at the same time the application was okay it's just that because of bad RAM memory that application crashed so you got to be careful in the way you actually uh, look at these error messages and don't panic everybody has error messages you see here I have some and my computer works really well it doesn't mean your computer is having a problem if you see error messages in here so be careful with that um, don't call a tech guy just because you got a warning or an error message uh, for example a distributed com or decom is often an error message but it, it's not a problem so uh, you gotta really be careful about what is a real problem and what's not a big problem um, and especially if your computer actually works well then don't start playing around and trying to fix something that's already working keep simple and keep to the rule that if it does work if everything works well well don't try to fix it it works well and that's it so um, that was kind of a little information video for informational video on the event viewer so it's available by going to the uh, down left corner right click and go into event viewer for uh, a little information about your applications and what's happening with your your computer over time if you have any comments questions let us know if you enjoy videos maybe you've got that new windows 8 machine are a little lost on using it click uh, the subscribe button and you'll be informed when new videos are online and uh, hey if you have a request of a feature you'd like us to see and put a video on let us know we'll try to put that video if you have a video that you want to ask for there's a good chance that a lot of people want to learn also about that same um, information and that same uh, application or whatever feature of Windows so uh, uh, not only you'll learn but a lot of people are going to learn also and uh, hey hope you take a look at our other videos on the official Windows 8 channel and hope you come back bye bye